Okay, so good morning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, all right, so we continue our class. Good morning again, students. Uh, welcome to English conversation class, conversation two for students of Bung Hatta University in the province of West Matra, Indonesia. Last week we talked about unit uh, unit three. Now I'm going to talk about unit four. Last week we talked about family, <laughs> about falling in love, about growing old, and then being a parent, having a kid, uh, things like that. Now we're going to talk about community and social life. I'm going to share with you the slide. <clears throat> Can you see it? Uh, yes. Sir, yes, sir. Can you see the slide? Yeah. I think it's being processed. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Uh, it's I think it's loading. Yep. It's loading. Um, okay. So here, here they are. So we have talked about unit one, social communication. You have, you have learned so far a few important words or vocabulary that were used in all these items. And we also talk about personal life, how we talk about foods, uh, characteristics, friends, childhood memories cultural identity, life story, and so forth. Then we also talk about family life. Um, although that you are not um, husband and wife yet, but at least you need to learn about this topic. This is the way how it goes to be human. You grow up, and then one day you become a parent. Um, so now we are going to talk about community and consumer life. Well, this is a lot of topics to discuss and to uh, briefly talk about. We have around town community services, utility services, mailing services, telephone services, shopping in today's world, shopping for clothes, returns and exchanges, school and community, lifelong learning and recreation. Okay, so I think it's an interesting picture right there. As you can see, uh, someone who is pointing, pointing at a certain direction. And uh, I think he, does he walk? Mm -hmm. I think he does. Okay. Yeah, yes. Let's try okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven topics to discuss. So we only have until I think around nine, nine thirty because we started eight. Um, okay, we need to go f uh, further. While some of you are still coming, uh, joining with us, so I go back and forth between <laughs> this display and um, the Google Meet. Okay, now that's about the unit four, community and consumer life. Is there any word that you might not know or heard before? What utility mean? Utility. Yeah, just utility. Uh, utility is like a stuff. For example, this is utility, charger, and uh, uh, axe when you cut the wood, that utility. So utility, all tools that you use for um, many different purposes. Um, like? Kitchen utility. When you say kitchen utility, so everything that you put in your kitchen that you can use for cooking, that's kitchen utility. Okay. Office utility. Office utility means the desk, the table, the pan, the sharpener. All those things are utility. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. So that I hope that it makes sense to you how to get the the idea of the word. Mm. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Now we would like to see the next slide. 
Um, okay, hold on. Okay, now this is the first one around town. You see there's a map uh, right there. We have 24 vocabulary for this topic. Uh, the first one, business, catty corner, catty corner, I think it's idiomatic word. Close, uh, how do you pronounce this one? Diagonal. Diagonal or diagonal? I usually live in diagonal. Diagonal. Yes. Diagonal. Okay. Uh, I will show you the vocabulary, uh, no, the dictionary, right? After this one. And then diagonally, uh, directions, fine, intersection. Intersections is like this poor, poor intersection. Um, then we have here three intersections. Intersections means uh, persimpangan. We have two intersection, three intersection, or four intersection. There is no six inter intersection. Landmark, locate, uh, lo location, uh, merge. I think you know merge, right? Yes. Yeah, it's it's available in the Microsoft Word. Merge your no. I think it was Excel. One way street, uh, pedestrian. You know pedestrian. Yeah, pedestrian. Pedestrian is the, the area for people to walk. Mm -hmm. um, pedestrians pull over, pull over. It's a, mm. it's a, it's a verb. Pull over means when you uh, take actions to. Yes. And we have a road map, road map, and then side, stop lights, street map, street sign, tree lines, streets, two way street. To where traffic and yield. Okay, now while you are looking at this picture, now we would like to discuss about the picture by uh, by answering the following question. The first one: What businesses are on this picture map? What businesses? What is that? Uh, I think it's quite small. If you if you look at the picture, we have here um, natural. Sausage, coffee, bubble clean. We have here a uh, pine terrace, um, one way. I think the name of this business is, is um, we call it food, mostly for food. This is maple. And number, number two, I think you, um, but can you see the 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 name of these buildings no oh, we can't yes, yes. No. it's too small maybe you can zoom it how oh the probably not no okay no all right that's fine we just try to answer available questions number two what landmarks are on maple lane maple lane the uh, white building yeah mm -hmm. But um, I don't know what, what name. <laughs> landmark. Yeah, the landmark. The, the landmark is a collection of buildings around the town, around here. That's what they call it as landmark. So, for example, if you if you travel in Katip Sulaiman from President uh, Street to Masjid Raya, what landmark is that? Where, 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 where again? <laughs> I don't know which better word. <laughs> okay. In in Padang City, for example, if you travel, if you drive your motorcycle or even your car or you're walking from um DPRD in Katip Sulaiman up to Masjid Raya, Sumatera Barat, what landmark is that? I did probably don't know that like, yeah. Padang. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know where. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, sure. That's I thought that you might you might be traveling around Padang City one day. Um, so, but basically, the idea of landmark is the collection of buildings around that, that street. That's what they call it, landmark. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have this tree line street, tree line street, um, like tree line street means uh, jalan dengan tiga tiga jalur ya. Mm -hmm. That's why they call it the three lines. 
Now, uh, from this word, is there any other words that you might not know before? Pull over. I think you know it already. Yes. Um, yield. Yeah. So that's why you need to to really uh, get to know about this one. Okay. So I think it's 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 pretty pretty easy to answer about this one around town. If you go up here from uh, Central Central Street to Maple Lane, what will you say? Straight. Go straight. Don't just straight. Straight. Sorry. Go straight. If you say straight, it means it's a it's a kind of uh, sexual orientation. Straight. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. just go straight. Good orientation. I'm straight. Yeah. It, <laughs> well, I'm that's straight. The way <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the good question. Are you straight? No. It's, it's don't don't ask that directly to someone. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's very offensive. Don't do that. It's I don't well, know. Well, and then, uh, I don't know mind. Okay, we just skip it. <laughs> go straight, uh, and then if you say uh, you want to go to Main Street, then uh, first you go straight in the central central street, and then you turn left, right? Is that the way how you say it? Um, if you from central to go to uh, Boulevard, how do you say that? From here to here. Uh, turn, turn left in the turn intersection, left and, then, and then turn right. Turn right. Then turn, turn, turn right. right in the Boulevard Street. Okay, yeah. all right. It's not really that a big of a deal right now. I know you could really express that, but basically today people can say, "Oh, you can Google it." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, Google, Google really Google sucks. Map. Google sucks. <laughs> Never trust Google. Yeah. I remember no. when I, I remember you know, when I when I went to uh, when I was in the U.S. I I took train from St. Louis to Chicago, and then when I arrived in Chicago, I asked people there, "How do I get to Indonesian embassy in Chicago?" And some people say, "You can find it in Google." <laughs> and then I said, uh, "That's that's crap." <laughs> Okay, that... show me the way. Sometimes this is very different, <laughs> different thing. But if you are in here and people ask you how to get to Bhutan, for example, you cannot say just Google it. Imagine that yeah. person doesn't have a cell phone, right? Okay, and that will be okay. Interesting. You need to remember these vocabularies because they're going to appear in your final exam one day. Um, the next one we have community services. Community services. Do you know what does it mean with community services? Like cops. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, cops, like medical, and firefighter, oh. and fireman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Community services is when you when you serve your community. For example, you join with um, Islamic students, and then you serve the community. Or you join with Bohanta sports students. That means that you serve your community. So when you actively serve your community around you, that means community services. Um, we have here. This is for. I think it's for police, police officer. Right, this one. And we have the swimming pool. Uh, senior citizen center. Do you know what does it mean with this one, Senior Citizen Center? Uh, Maybe the old man. Uh -huh. for the old yeah, for all, all people. Um, it's like Pati Jompo, things ah, yeah. like that. Yeah. But we don't actually say that Pati Jompo because it's, it's a bit, it's a culturally offensive, right? Yeah, offensive nah. means Annoying because we don't send our parents to Papi Jompo. We yeah. we what's, take care of. What's them. like to be in Papi Jompo? What? 
What's like to be in a panty jompo? Panty jompo. Panty jompo is a, is a place where uh, older people are stay together and they were taken care of and they will be fed every breakfast, lunch and dinner. And yeah. there are there are certain programs for them, for example, small sports or doing or reading together. That's panty jompo. Uh, basically, uh, some people think that it is rude to send panty jompo, but to me, if you are working, all of your family member of families are working. I think it's 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 uh it's it's still better. It's, I think it's still better if you send your parents to panty jompo. That's right because there are people who take care of your parents. I think, but it goes back to your um, uh, your moral value. Mm. But I'm not, I personally not going to send my parents to Panty Jumpo. No, uh, no. they have to stay. They have to stay with me. And this one, Main Street Shelter. You know shelter? Shelter. Uh, shelter. Shelter. Yes. Please. Yeah, shelter. Uh, shelter. Shelter is a big building where you can let all people get in. That's shelter. Uh, tsunami shelter. Have you ever heard that? Yes. Usually because yeah. of uh, no, tsunami disaster. Uh, for disaster, that's shelter. Uh, shelter. Uh, I remember when Padang was hit by earthquake. I went to a shelter. We stayed there for I think for one night. Um, Mungsi, yeah, Mungsi. <laughs> um, daycare center. Daycare center is, is a place where you take care of children. Now we move on to this vocabulary. Um, is there anyone wants to read this? Twenty-three words. Try. Reski, go reski, reski, go reski. <laughs> <laughs> just say, say your name. Reski, my name is Reski, so I, I, uh, yeah, we'll read it as Reski. <laughs> oh my. Go on. Okay. Is it, is it Reski? Try. <laughs> Or we have female students. Go on. After school program, mm -hmm. community center, community mm -hmm. program, contribute, contribution, mm -hmm. daycare, emergency care, fire department, mm -hmm. free meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Homely shelter, mm -hmm. instructor, okay. municipal, oh, municipal pool, mm -hmm. police department, mm -hmm. provide, mm -hmm. please. Recreation. Recreation, good. Recreational. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Service organization. So, okay. kitchen. Summer mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. Swim with lessons. 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 Mm -hmm. Volunteer. Okay, volunteer. All right, thank you. What's your name again? Yara. Oh, Tiara. Okay. Last week you were active to Tiara. Um, thank you for reading that to all of us. From these 23 items or words, is there any word that you do not know? What is that? Handy. Handicapped. Uh, handicapped. Okay. Handicapped services is, is the surf when you help people who get uh, trouble. <laughs> Uh, for example, accident, and then you want to help them handicap the services, things like that. 
it's, and then when you send them off to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else? Daycare, um, after school program. It's when you when you just finish going to school and then you're not going back home too soon. You do something for the community. That is called after school program. Soup like kitchen. School, yeah, like a school, a school, extra curricular. But but the thing is, when you do ex school or extra curricular activities, you do it in your school within your school. Uh, but oh, after school, okay. program, it is like doing it outside of school, but still in your community. That's like, after school program. Yeah, like it's not around with your friend. Is that after yes. school program? Yeah, it's it's with you can do it with a friend, but you need to report it to your headmaster or your school principal. Okay. Um, school principal and free meal. This is uh, I I think it's free meal is the same with tajil. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. 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 It's free meal when you get uh, food. Not that much, but it's quite enough to prolong your hunger. Not yeah. prolong your hunger, to, to, to delay your hunger, uh, free meal. So it's, I think it's more than enough for a student, mm -hmm. free meal. Yeah. No and then, uh, yeah. Something like that, that's not enough. Mm -hmm. And we have this one summer program. We don't have this one. Do you have this in Bohata? Mm. No, we don't. We don't go summer. No. Yeah. <laughs> We, we almost we have sun, summer all day. Summer all day. <laughs> just, just raining, right? Yeah. Uh, we it's have raining. summer and uh, raining, rain, only two seasons. But if you stay uh, in Canada or in England or I think it's trend, uh, New Zealand, yeah, Australia, yeah, but... uh, yeah. south, in, down south of Australia, you will have summer program. Yeah. It's uh, they they like to have summer program because sometimes they come to winter season. It's freezing cold. And off yeah. day, why not? That's yeah, it, it's freezing cold, and you will be um, uh, staying at home. You you buy a lot of food, and then you just consume it for about a month, two months, without going anywhere. Yeah, that doesn't sound bad. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, when I, the first time I saw snow in my life, that was, that was fascinating. I want to see it. I want to touch it. Yeah, oh. it's, that's uh, the first time I saw snow, you know, like a twinkling, Stop. small, small <laughs> thing of snow. It's so, I can yeah, see it. when I, I did not know at the time that it was winter season, but before winter season came in, um, there was uh, like chill, chilling, chilling situation. When the leaves are falling, gugur, uh, autumn, yeah. autumn season, and then right after that, um, I was in class at the at the time. I had I think it was a night class. Ooh. Uh, the, the class was started at 6 p.m., not 6 a.m., 6 yeah. p.m., and then it was ended at 9.40 p.m. Then after I came out from the classroom and then I walked out from the building of the, I think it's College of Arts and College of Liberal Arts, English Department. So I saw, I saw something white from the window, from the window uh, in the building. So I saw, I looked outside. And then I asked my friend, what is that? Something falling from the sky. Is there any, anything, anything uh, firing or burned? <laughs> you know, when you see big fire, um, something fly to the sky, right? Yeah, but, but it's black. But it's black, not <laughs> white. Okay. This one <laughs> white. <laughs> this one is white. So I asked my, my classmate, who I, I think it was he was American white American and I said him I, I asked him what is that he said oh that's snow 
no really and then i opened the door and i looked outside um, i didn't wear my snow coat oh i didn't no, wear the first snow i saw that i didn't wear my snow coat i opened the door and i looked outside and then i put my hand like this just just i just want to know how does it feel to have to see the snow oh my god this is the snow wow well, that's cliche yeah that's very cliche <laughs> and my my american friends looked at me like this yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's me when i yeah with the dead look and then i look i look at them and i said i'm sorry this is my first time to see snow this is amazing and then i touch it again and when um when they were about to go home because you know they drive they have their own car while i went to the bus most american in your age they drive their car okay well, it's very okay. different here we we drive our motorcycle but they drive their car yeah. so for example like reski you have your own uh, jaguar Aditya, you have your own um, yes, BMW, BMW. Um, yeah, things like that. Or Tiara has Tesla. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! I mean, they are only... Tesla! Yeah. So, so, you know, so, uh, for most Americans, cars are very important. Hmm. It's identity. When you can drive a car, it's your identity. That's That's one of the good things. And I went to the bus. Before I went to the bus, so the situation was a bit empty. So I, I take one thing of the snow, uh, snow sparkling thing like that, small one. And then I try to taste it. <laughs> you know what did I do? You know what did I do? You open your mouth. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I taste it like this one. Um. Oh, okay. It's it's uh it is tasteless. It's not sweet. Why no sweet. Put some margin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean you mean I take one handful like this and then I put it in my mouth? No, people will say me crazy. I'm not gonna do that. But you're so, crazy because of that. <laughs> you look like crazy man. <laughs> That, that was that was the first thing of my snow experience i didn't wear any snow coat when i uh, from the bus uh, station i entered uh, to the bus and then for about 20 15 minutes uh, the bus took me to my um, my boarding house my uh, i think it was uh, cougar village and from the bus station i walked for about 10 minutes to my uh, house uh, it was really cold oh. imagine all over your body you feel like you are standing next to a freezer well that's re re uh, refreshing that, that's that's uh that's really freezing cold and then my uh, my face is almost felt like a stiff sedikit kaku frozen yeah almost freezing and then i went home i thought that i didn't have uh, the air conditioner i thought the air conditioner was still cold but then when i went home i saw my friends my roommates uh, korean american and turkish uh, they were international students so uh, i i asked them I was feeling so cold outside. Why don't you guys turn the air conditioner off? I thought the air conditioner means it is cold, right? Like in here, cold. <laughs> turn it off, I said. I I'm cold. And then they said, no, we don't have to turn it off. We turn it on. What do you mean? You switch to the heat. Oh. Um, yeah, it's the heat. Yeah, it's, so it's a heater. Yeah, it's like a... a Still the air conditioner, but the air is uh, a bit hotter or to make it more warm. This is different. Wow, this is amazing. See, it's, um, it's, it's very interesting about that one.
Yeah. Okay, now mo we move on from community services. Um, um, in my campus at the time, we, we have this one free meal for uh, poor students that don't have any support from the family. They receive this free meal. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a good, you know, when you see that in in, in community that, that doesn't really... Um, uh religious but they they help each other like this one i think it's good we can we can adapt that and we, we yeah. already have right we already have that one too we call it tajil yeah <laughs> only, but only once a month I mean, once yeah. a, no once a year yeah once a year once a one year only month. only in ramadan month but they yeah. they plan that in every month uh, every uh, in, in the, the last week of every month, uh, that's free meal. They have cafeteria, and then when the foods there were uh, having leftover, you know, leftover, yeah, leftover, bukan makanan sisa. Leftover means that you sell foods, and then they are still in the display. Nobody buys them. Usually, they put the leftover to the free meal center, so any student can take it if they want. That's just amazing. Yeah, so that's it's, just amazing. It's free for every day. Yeah, uh, it's it's free, almost almost free. Some foods are having no leftover, but some foods are still um, displayed like that one. And then utility services. We come forward to the next topic. Utility services like this one. This is utility. Um, someone. Yeah, a tree is falling off, falling down like this one. Down. Yeah, and someone is helping. That is called utility services. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, someone is joining with us. Okay, and we have caution people work. Mm, I think it's what does he do in this in here? Can you tell? And helping a garbage. Mm hmm good throwing, away to throwing the, the throwing the garbage you know yeah. how much that this work is paid in the u.s i don't know it's quite expensive i think that their work is very expensive if yeah. uh, collecting garbage and then put them to this this container garbage container they they were paid i think it's almost 100 million rupees per year you want to join it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I, I did would like to. I, need to like I, so. I have money, right? I have money? Yeah. I, I, I will. On the way. <laughs> but if you compare with this job, you know how much the salary of teacher is? Mm, probably less. Uh huh. How much? Less. Yeah, um, that's, that's a different thing. It's, it's not that. It's not that less, but if you compare the teacher salary in the U.S. with teacher salary in Indonesia, we are far way lower. Lower. Um, maybe it's about currencies. Kind of thing is this? You know. Um, yeah. Can you say? But just don't compare. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't compare it. Uh, currencies and corruption. Government. <laughs> Agree. The corruption, nepotism, and collusion are killing Indonesia right now. Uh, yeah. Now, what, what about this one? This is what does this man do? What's that? Repairing a TV. Oh, yeah. Repairman. Yeah, repairman. It's a repairman. Yeah, it's it's they call it cable services. Mm -hmm. This one cable services. So every time you have problem with your electric stuff or your machines at home you can contact this cable services phone number they will come to your house and well, fix them for you yeah it's you just i think you, you have, yes mm -hmm. anyone want to say something okay um, what about this one laundry Laundromat? No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, 
Are you no, 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 no. to no. fix the... the, 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 the it's not laundry. It's not laundry. Comfort. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. The yeah. stove. Good. It's a uh, stove, but it's not like the stove that we have. It's yeah. uh, electric stove. There is no fire in it. Yeah. No fire. Yeah, so what I know is that um, in most American households today, they don't use a fire stove, but they use electric stove. So electric stove is when you can cook, but uh, the flat the flat uh, surface is, is hot as if it feels like fire. So when you put the kitchen utilities uh, frying pan, you can cook there. I think it's I think it's good if you have that one because yeah, it's expensive I think more expensive. yes it's expensive and it consumes a lot of electricity in your yeah. house and yeah. you pay it a lot mm, um, but for household I think it's good enough it, it depends on your, on your need yeah. um, okay now we have here cable wire uh, like this one cable wire done yeah, this is this you know dump. Yeah. Dump, yeah. Dump, uh, but without B, okay. <laughs> if you said with B, dump, <laughs> it's it's negative. Dump. Yeah. Okay. I think that's answer. Yeah. That's uh, electrical storm. Electrical electrical storm. It's when you see storm, but it has electric uh, power in it. Um, electrical storm when the eon and the particle come. You don't do science here. I don't get it. Uh, you, you don't get. You don't get it. <laughs> we don't do science um, here. We so just skip it. Okay, but you need to know the several words of this. Okay. Uh, electrical storm, electricity, and uh, electric wires. Electric wires is like all this cable wire thing that contain electricity. Environment, you know it already. Faulty. You know what faulty is? No. Faulty means like kesalahan, your fault. Yeah. Yeah, fault, and then it becomes faulty. It's a noun. Uh, faulty. Garbage. Garbage. This one garbage. Garbage disposal. Gas company. Gas leak. Gas leaks means uh, kebocoran gas. Leaking. Yeah. Gas leak. A uh, hard hat. Hard hat like this one. The yellow hat, they safety call it. Hat. Hat. Yeah, safety, safety hat. Manhole. Mm. What is that? Manhole. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't say anything. I don't know what's what is it. Why does this word appear in here? No, uh, no. I don't yeah, know. I have a lot, lots of weird opinions in his yeah, mind. A, I up. think it's in here. It's a manhole uh, where you can get inside. And the size of the hole is the human size. I think that's is that manhole. Um, <laughs> what is a different thing. <laughs> but what I see is the mouse hole. He has yeah. a different meaning. Yeah, 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 mouse, yeah, yeah mouse 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 meaning. You know, yeah, mouse hole like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what mouse hole is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mouse hole, you know mouse hole. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, yeah. yeah, when you can find a mouse, mouse and rat or mice. Yeah, they are different. Yeah, rat, mice, and mouse. There are three different, uh, different kind of uh, rats. Rat is usually a bit wild rat, but um, mouse is some in in the house. Mice and mice is a bit. Um, same disappear in the kitchen and then we have odor i think you know it already odor smell odor um out of surface i think this is good if you apply this one if you have business one day and you want to close instead of instead of putting the word close you say out of surface mm. if you say out of surface it means that you are close forever 
Okay. If you just say close, it means close for that time. But if you say, if you put the word out of surface, it means that it is being maintained or things like that. Pollution, you know, already power, power lines, reception, um, reception, repair person. Mm. Okay, repair person. Uh, Petugas PLN come to your house and fixing the electric cable. They are called repair person. Yeah. Surface. Surface technician, surface truck, telephone pole, trash. I think it's okay. Water pressure, trash compactor. Is there any word that you don't know? Uh, sir, yes, sir. Yes. Uh, Which one? Is is the word uh, repair person? It's limited. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, just uh, limited to, uh, as you said, to gospel and if that only can be used to. The replacement like to gas PLN or it can be used um, to other word. Yes, it can be applied to other types of words as well. Maybe from PDIM coming to your house fixing the water pipe. Um, they are called repair person. Any any work that uh, the purpose is to repair your uh, your stuff or your items in your house, you can call them repair person. Uh, okay, I do have one question too. Yes. But what about plumber? Isn't that the plumber. same? Yeah. A plumber. Plumber. Plumber means they're working in the pipe, right? Yeah. In the sink, uh, was stifle, and then there is a pipe beneath the uh, water hole, and then plumber, yeah. and then you try to 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 take it the trash out, and you clean and make everything is go back again. Um, you know the word plumber is ended with the er p l u m b e r e r so everything that goes with er is a is a job teacher dancer singer uh, and then um yeah it's all those things they call it it's, it's a job you can call it plumber to be more specific mm, but if you if you go to um, to hand watch store, you want to fix your hand watch, yeah, and then you call them uh, the repair person. That doesn't fit. <laughs> that doesn't. Usually, you have this surface when they come to your house and fixing your stuff. You to repair it. They were called repair person. So, mm -hmm. plumber is like. Uh, more like a repair person or a surface technician or is in between. Oh, okay. somewhere in between somewhere but in between. the difference between repair person and surface technician is when surface technician when you try to fixing the problem technically that's what they call it surface technician to be more specific technically uh, for example, your your cell phone is dead, and then you want to fix it. Uh, they're called surface technician, and it's it's a lot bigger than that. But if you want to fix your cupboard, your uh, kitchen table, they were called repair person. Or your table is broken, and you want to fix the lag, and then the person who does the job is called repair person to repair it. But if you want to fix your TV, your air conditioner, your refrigerator, or um, any technical utilities that you have in your house and you want to fix them, that person is called surface technician. Um, surface truck is when these, these guys were located in a truck and they will come to your house, it's called surface truck. You know, like... Uh, Honda, you know, Honda, Yamaha, Surface. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they were called Surface Technician. Okay. Don't call them repair person. Uh, surface Technician, Surface Truck. So that's different, the different thing, right? Okay? Okay. All right, now we move on. Um, it's, it's enough uh, for this one. I think the vocabularies are good. Um, Trash, trash is uh, samba. What is the difference between garbage and trash? They're both trash. I mean something mm -hmm. like, like trash and 
way. No, no, no different, man. They are not different. They're just the same thing. Mm-hmm. Same but different. Yeah, it's a different connotation. The garbage yeah. is not garbage is uh is collection of many trash. That's garbage. Yeah. Yeah. But if you only have a few items, uh, for example, I have here with me. Um, uh, okay, I have. Uh, uh, okay, I don't. I don't want to show the item because maybe it will become a uh, selling thing. <laughs> <laughs> I will show. Uh, okay, just small thing from your bedroom or from your office, and it's not that much they are called trash but if you have many trash uh, in your garage and then you don't take them out that that becomes garbage garbage <laughs> okay for example another example is um, like this one if you have something in your mind just one thing that annoys you that is trash one thing but if you, if you have many things in your minds that as if you want to explode it, then that is garbage. Just clean it. Uh, okay. What about calling people as a trash? <laughs> oh, wow. If you, call some, if you call people or someone as a trash, that's a very uh, insulting. Well, what about that? Uh, like a trash. They do stuff like that well if let's say for example if you say someone you are trash it means that that person is no use for you oh that, that's no, just like a just a useless person so they uh, go away like that mm -hmm. yeah okay. you just, just go away and you are not important in my life you yeah. just being outsider that's trash it's really completely wipe off that trash. So don't never try to say someone trash because it's 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 not only damaging their feeling, but it also make you look like as if you are a cold a heart, cold heart person. You know, cold heart person. Yes, I do know. Your heart is cold. Um, that's. Uh, so just, 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 just say. Even though you try to imitate from movie, remember that's just movies. What you see in movies sometimes do not exist in reality. Yeah, that doesn't imply in reality. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't imply in reality. Okay, now we move on. We have mailing services. Mailing, we have Blinko mailing, and this is email. This is computer email. Uh, this is a toy. We have photocopy machine, and we have his faxi mail, faxi mail, oh, faxi mail or faxi mail. Yeah. Faxi mail, faxi mail. Faxi mail. Faxi mail. Faxi mail. Okay. Uh, hold on. I tried to open um, the dictionary of Cambridge. Hope it works. Mm -hmm. I will show you right after this one a few important words um, that you might uh, be useful, that might be useful for you, but after this one. Um, we have the book mail. Oh, I think these vocabularies are, I think it's popular for you. Book mail, cardboard, box, copy, copy machine, and copier. Ali, efficient. Is there any word that you don't know? Postage mm -hmm. supplies. Mm -hmm. 16. 16? Yeah. What's that? Uh, postage supplies. Yeah. Postage, postage supplies is when you... Um, the thing that you use to send your post and then you have it in stock in your office. That's called supplies, postage supplies. Everything that you use, for example, envelope or the stamp. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, when you stick it into your envelope with a glue, uh, 
I think it, it has I think three thousand or six thousand, not matrai, pranko, <laughs> postage supplies, and you have them all in your office. That's why I call postage supplies. It, look at this one. The word supplies means this is plural. It's more than one. Mm. We have efficient electronic mail, uh, face down. You know, face down. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. no. face down. For example, when you see in the movie with the police officer, FBI, freeze, freeze. For example, freeze. You know, freeze. <laughs> face yeah, down. Face down. down. Face down. Yeah, yeah, up. Put put your face down, and then raise your hand. Raise up. Raise up like this. Face down. Like that. So, in the document, like this one, uh, for example, I have um, this one. So, this is the face, the face, the face, and face down is like this. Face down. So, that's the, that's the different thing. All right, is there any word, other word online? You know it already? Uh, Okay, so this is the correct way to write the word online. Online. Uh, don't use dash. Yeah. Online with online. There are two different words. Offline, online. But the, the correct one, it should be with this one, online. Okay. Okay. And uh, this is one Dolly. Dolly, we call it Dolly. Electronic mail, email. This one, electronic mail. It's a, it's a basically a mail or letters. And um, overnight delivery, next day delivery. Do you know what does it mean? Uh, overnight, like. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? Yeah, deliver it in one day list. Okay. This uh, one? Next day is yeah. going to be delivery okay. that be delivered tomorrow. Deliver tomorrow. Okay. That, that, that's good. For example, you want to send your document today, but you went to the post office at 1 o'clock today. So the document will be sent tomorrow morning. That is called next day delivery. So the delivery is in the next day. But overnight delivery is today, this night. And it will be received tomorrow morning by the uh, addressee. Address, addressee, yeah. Um, receive and receive, send, time, server, transmission, transmit. Okay, I think it's, um, I think you already know all about this. The bulk mail is when you have um, this uh, this um, many mails in your box. That's a bulk mail. We call that bulk mail. But we don't call bulk money. Never. I never hear that. The bulk money. Uh, okay. All right. The next one. We go further. Telephone services. We have here. Oh. What is this? Telephone services. This uh, someone is calling in the office, and then this one is connected to this person in the airplane. Oh, can you do this in your airplane? No, no, we, we don't. We can actually. Don't we can do that. We're not allowed. No, you're not allowed. No, all phone are off because uh -huh. uh, not what something something they say. I don't know. Okay, you you actually cannot do that with the public airplane, with economy airplane or business, but that's public. But you can do this in your private jet. <laughs> if you have one, yeah, we will do that. Yeah, let's pray for that. <laughs> yeah, let's pray that you have your own private jet. It, it's cool, you, you know, when you are staying alone in your private jet, everyone is serving you food. Alone. And then you have your own private uh, flight attendants 
private uh, um, the, the the airplanes uh, pilot uh, it's, uh, yeah you can go anywhere around the world and you don't have to pay for visa i think that's a uh, great <laughs> wait you don't need is have any have a, a, a private jet that's just in my that's just in my imagination oh okay it will be so cool if you God do Okay. <laughs> your private jet. Yeah, when you when you are living, it's okay when you imagine things, but don't be too far. All right, <laughs> we have this one: business call, business call, calling card, calling card. What is this? Yeah. Um, calling card when you put people number. Yeah, calling card actually steam. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, call waiting, car phone, car phone. Okay. Do you do you have ever seen this one? You don't. I don't. Uh, I think you never see this in in Padang. Um, in I have seen this one in the US, but when my friend, I think it was Usman. Usman is a Pakistani, but he works in the US. He received a phone call from his car. So he, he, he pushed something in his car, and then I hear a voice, uh, someone is saying, Hello, Usman, how are you there? Uh, Assalamualaikum, that's what he said. And Usman, Assalamualaikum, salam. Just speaking like that while he drives his car. Isn't uh, that amazing? Uh, I do. Uh, I take it. Uh, you can drive, drive a car or a family car. They have it. So this is this is what happens. He connects his cell phone to his car. Yeah, Bluetooth. Yeah. Yeah, with the Bluetooth system, and the GPS is active, and you can hear the, the word turn right, turn left, go straight, and when you drive your car. <laughs> is this a, this is a fascinating. Thing. Well, yeah, it is. Mm. Let's call car phone, and then we have cellular cell phone. You know, it's a <laughs> cell phone kind of thing. And then we have conference call extension. Do you know conference call? Uh, no. Um, you don't know that when you when you call five people at the same time, that is called conference call. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a conference call. Extension phone, uh, hang on. Hang on means when you receive receive a call and then you try to uh, give a post like this. Let's hang on. Hang on. Hearing impaired, hearing aid, in flight call. This one. Is there any word that is there any word that you don't know? Touch. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tele typewriter, text, three way calling, call call. Call call. You know, call call. No, we don't. Call call. Call call. Call call means. Um, when you call a certain number and the number is uh, free to call, call call, bebas, bebas uh, hamatan. It's a call, call call. Um, like uh, you call, you call to a number of the office, and that the one that receive it is usually a machine or robot. That's call call. Um, unless you call, yeah. It's, this is tall. Um, I think it's. I think it's the slide direct. Touch tone phone. Touch tone phone and wall phone. Wall phone means when you put your phone into onto uh, a wall. You do, you. do you have that in your house? Usually, I think it's everywhere I go in Padang City in people's house when they have their phone. They put it on a table, right? Yeah. Some Americans that I notice in their house, some some of them put their telephone onto the wall, 
and then they can take it like this one. Hi there, that's called wall phone. Yeah. That's wall phone, cell phone. Yeah, that's call smart phone. How about that? Smartphone. <laughs> actually, that's that's a uh, smartphone is actually not a correct word. It's just yeah. a pop popular word to say. Smartphone. <laughs> it's, idi it's idiomatic smartphone. It's not the phone that is smart. It's the user that should be smart. Oh, that's hitting someone. Do you get it? Yeah, okay, I get it. And that's kind yeah. of in someone. If you if you buy someone an iPhone, you know iPhone. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that someone doesn't know how to use the phone, then that is not smartphone. Yeah, we can say that word. <laughs> That's our pen. <laughs> yeah, we could say it as stupid phone. <laughs> oh, you just crossed the line, uh, man. It's not. It's not stupid phone. It's just like it's. Oh, we 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 can call it a. Um, um, stupid phone is a bit harsh to say. I think it's it's, it's better for you to use uh, outdated less phone. No, no, less intelligent phone. Less intelligent phone. That's oh, less intelligent phone. Okay, that's still soft. That's good. That's less intelligent good. phone. That's good. Not, that's not offensive at all. No, no, that's not offensive. That's still polite. It's it's really polite. Believe me, that yes. sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, less intelligent phone yeah. for lazy people. <laughs> I don't want to use the less phone. Okay. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> uh, put on hold. What does it mean? Okay. It's a feature on your phone, but I don't think. Put on hold means when you receive a call, and then you say to the uh, telephone caller. Um, wait for a while. That's put on hold, okay. and then you receive it. The other thing, you, oh. you receive A. A is calling you. B is calling you, and then um, you talk to A. Please wait for a while. Then you receive the B calling. Um, okay. Some people are communicating outside, <laughs> so this is very. Uh, we have. Um, this one shopping in today's world. Okay, shopping. Now I like this one shopping. I don't. You like shopping? I don't. Man, don't. Man, don't go shopping. Of course, sir. If I have money, spend the money. No, I don't. I love like shopping. <laughs> You're female. Female <laughs> loves shopping. Women love shopping. Women love shopping. Okay, yeah. now I'm asking you. I'm asking to female students. Is it true that women like shopping? Not like I do. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's true. true. I don't like. Yes. Yes, I don't okay. Know like. All right. Now this for men out there for you two men. When you get married one day, you have to be ready to ask your <laughs> significant wife for shopping. <laughs> That's yeah, married. You know, some some American men. No, it's the wise word it says, "Happy wife, happy life." Happy wife, yeah. happy, wife happy life. Yeah, happy that's life. that ain't true. That that. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. You guys suck. You guys suck. Make them happy. Make them happy. God don't want. To. <laughs> I don't Maybe want I to. did. We'll need some tutorials to do that. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, he should. He should. It's just make make them happy. Show him uh, some tutorials, sir. <laughs> it occurs by nature. I would say this. I would say this. It occurs by nature. You know what does it mean? Well, yeah, I do. I it occurs do. by nature. It means. Uh, uh, apa, I uh, think we'll, we'll be able to do it by himself without being taught how to do it. Um, okay, we have here, uh, this is a bag, um, picture of a bag. I think it's a leather bag, looks like a leather, elegant. Uh, oh, you see? Uh-huh. Small items like, 
Mm. Sometimes there, when you go for shopping, there are several things that are small to you, but for people out there living up, it might be um, very extraordinary for them. Uh -huh. Okay, for example, like this, you know, necklace. Necklace. Uh, <clears throat> most people say that gold necklace is good, pearl necklace is good, but I noticed that, um, you know, bamboo woods, yeah. bamboo woods with the with the green stone. When they put together in a necklace, it it gives you a healthy feelings. I think that's that's great. You can you can sell for that, for example. <laughs> And you are not. No, you don't. Okay. I think girls know about this word. Boutique. Do you know boutique? Yes, I know. For, awesome. for female students. <laughs> Do you know boutique? Yes. 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 Boutique. Okay. Catalog sales? Yeah. Yes. Charge? Yes. You know charge? Charge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, charge. Uh, ease of shopping. I you know, ease, ease of shopping means when you go to a store or to a shopping center, and then you can find what you search for easily. Oh. That's what. That's ease of shopping. Without going anywhere, you know. Blah, 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 blah. I usually. <laughs> When I when I was still uh, single, actually I don't really like to go to the mall things like that. When you're feeling um, I just go directly. Even in Gramedia, I go directly. For example, I want to buy comic, and then I go directly to find the comic, and then I buy it, I pay it, and then I go home. Okay. <laughs> um, That's how men. Yeah, but. <laughs> but the story is different when I get married with a wife. I have to spend almost an hour in Gramedia. Oh, an hour? <laughs> Just an hour? Almost an hour. Just an yes. hour. Yes. We, we, we went to the first floor looking around, and then we go to the second floor looking around again. <laughs> the third floor looking around again. And then after that, we just buy one thing. <laughs> 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 yeah, this, this is what yeah, it's sure. And yeah. when I ask, when I ask my my wife, what are you doing? We only buy one thing, but you spend almost an hour. <laughs> and and uh, and she said, well, she likes it. And um, and the next the next time we went to Central Market. Pasaraya, uh, I accompanied her to buy vegetables, fruit, and everything. When I went to the market, I make a list of notes what I want to buy: vegetables, carrot, tomatoes, and all this. When I get them, after I get all of what I need, and then I go home. That's it. But then when I went with my, <laughs> with my wife or with my mother even. Um, I had to walking from one direction to another direction, one spot to another spot, almost two hours. <laughs> so, so uh, I said, "Oh, that's enough. I have. I can only wait outside. You go inside. I wait outside in the parking lot. Okay." Um, and. Um, yeah, and so my my mother, my wife said, "Okay." And while I'm waiting in the parking light, in the parking lot. No, sir, I'm, you shouldn't be like that. <laughs> what if it's somebody a, steal your wallet? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, you know, it's, the thing is that you can get bored when you just uh, looking around. I like to do things like this, quick and Don't you feel happy if your if your soulmate feel happy? I know, <laughs> but then she also tried to understand me. 
um, she's happy when she spent her time there and I'm happy to do my own thing. That's fine. We will understand that one day. Um, it's it, it works both ways. Yeah, it's just, um, yeah, it's just the way how it is. Oh, uh, have you ever read this one? This book? Man, uh, from uh, what? Uh, what book? From Venus. <laughs> have you read this one? I just, no, I didn't. I see it. Okay, this is a good book. This is a good book about how men and women build their relationship and how men and women speak the same language but in different way. Uh, just like the usual. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's very interesting. Um, Maybe it's men, men, men don't talk much, but women does. <laughs> Uh, but, yeah. Well, I'm doing this because I'm teaching. <laughs> because I'm teaching you. Otherwise, I can be silent all day. Oh. Um, right. Shopping in today's world, uh, and then we have exclusive uh, home shopping channel. You know it already. Introductory. Nice uh, money back guarantee. Oh, this is good. Money back guarantee. You buy something and you don't like it, and your money. Wow, this is good. Woman. <laughs> Let me see that one. Mm -hmm. And online shopping, uh, place and order. You know, place and order? Yeah, like. In Lazada, Shopee, yeah. or even in uh, Tokopedia, Bleed, things like that. Place and order. Purchase. Purchase is when you buy something. That's purchase, proof of purchase. Retail, you know retail? I uh, do not. Uh, re retail is in the store when you can display clothes. Uh, that's retail. Yeah. Uh, sales, sales tax, shipping and handling. Specialty shop. Um, specialty shop means a very specific shop when you can buy, for example, perfume shop. That is called specialty shop. Telephone order, toll free number, up to the mm -hmm. Okay, so it's uh, shopping in today's world. Well, you need to know about this one as well. Okay, shopping for clothes. Oh, still about shopping. Original price, fifteen percent off. Original. Prices back to school sale. Bargain outlet. Do you know what the bargain outlet means? The what? The what? We have article of clothing, conservative, conventional, discount store, durable, fashion, fashionable, fashion conscious, impractical, piece of clothing, practical, reasonable, seasonal, sporty, style, style, um, thrifty, tasteful, trendy, well made. Okay. Do you know what is the bargain outlet is? Yes, sir. Anyone know about the Bergen outlet? No, you don't know. The Bergen That's outlet. An hour. Yes, yes, good. The Bergen outlet is place with you. Bergen. Bergen means the uh, hour. Oh. Yeah. That's mm. woman. <laughs> That's woman's town. Bergen outlet. Don't say that. Uh, this is also men's stuff, but men do not go home. That's just the difference. Uh, I think yeah. it's a woman stuff because uh, women used to make uh, lots of stuff from the highest price to lower uh, price. Such as yes. uh, when the seller said that it's about uh, 
500,000 uh, rupiah in Indonesia and it will, it will be uh, like 100,000 when <laughs> yeah that's a hard bargain like that that's, that's yeah. the real deal that's the real deal and that's the real fact <laughs> that's a fun yeah. in Indonesia yes they're, they're very good to bargain right wow that's that's cool <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think it's already enough about shopping for clothes, article for clothing, conservative, uh, practical piece of clothing. Piece of clothing is just like piece of clothing and uh, thrifty, thrifty with bekas, uh, thrift store, uh, bekas. When you have your own clothes and this clothes is still usable, everyone can sell it. That is called thrifty. Mm, garment, garments, uh, it's the material of garment, fashionable. Mm, which one do you prefer to be uh, good looking or fashionable? Which one? Why not both? <laughs> you want yeah, both? both? Both. Good looking and yeah. fashionable. Uh. Okay. Good looking. Okay, without good character, good looking is not enough. True, true. And you, yeah. you are safe. Without, what I mean is, without, without good character, good personality, good looking is not enough. Well, okay, for example, you meet someone and this person is good looking or charming or, or uh, beautiful or pretty or handsome in, from your face. But when you communicate, you begin to see um, the other side of that person, not just his face, his character or her personality. That making you happy to meet this person right that goes to your heart when you meet someone with good personality you your heart feels safe but if you see someone is good looking but then he or she doesn't speak nice are you going to speak with that person uh dependable I won't. I won't. I, I will. Well, uh, being handsome or being pretty is just a matter of from your eyes. But being nice and being kind. Um, it's a matter of how your heart feels. Okay. All right. Now that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. <laughs> that's deep. Okay. A return and exchanges. Okay. Now this is about how you buy something and you want to return it and you want to exchange it. Do we have that here? Yes. Mm hmm. Okay, is that a, uh, who wants to read this number one and number ten? Adjust me, me, me. Okay. Adjust, adjustment, assemble, broken, damage, defective, dilemma, dissatisfaction, dissatisfied, exchangeable. Exchangeable, okay. Um, okay. Assemble, assemble means you fit together. Broken, damaged, uh, defective, illegal, dissatisfaction, dissatisfied, exchangeable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number 11 to 20. Anyone? Uh, did, uh, did, uh, I said one. I'm going to say that more. No. Oh, okay. Just continue until 30 then. <laughs> God damn it. First okay. date, station, first. Dating, I mean, the station, mm -hmm. um, what? Um, huh? yes. incomplete, manufacturing defect, missing part, non-defundable, poor quality, put together, defund, defundable, replaced, mm -hmm. replacement, returnable, stretched, stitching, torn, mm -hmm. under warranty, and warranty. 
Warranted. Okay, warranted. Warranted, not warranted. Uh, so it's like, like the word guaranteed, warranted, uh, painted. Um, and uh, I think it's refund, refundable. Refund means that you get your money back. That's yeah. refund policy. Refundable means it, it, is, it is able to be refunded. Refundable. Replacement, returnable. Re what is the difference between return and exchange? Uh, return means uh, you just give the stuff back and mm -hmm. wait, you you don't receive the, the replacement of that stuff but exchange mm -hmm. mean uh, you can you give and you it's, it's more like a give and take mm -hmm. okay it's you get the other item by returning back the, the things right that is exchange you return the red and then you get the green <laughs> that exchange but it's yeah. just return you you give back the red and you get your money back that's return mm. and then number one what is wrong with the tree cycle this one tree cycle tree you know tree cycle no oh tree cycle okay, you know okay, tree okay. cycle yeah. yeah. Get for the bicycle. Bicycle is three. three. <laughs> I have three wheels. Yeah, mm -hmm. like three wheels and three cycles used for kids. Yeah. Mm hmm. B cycles, two wheels. This why I called B cycle. Motor cycle. Uh, three cycle. Four cycle is a car. What about a uh, bicycle with uh, one wheel? Uh, yes. Bicycle or uh, bicycle? Four cycle, it's usually called a uh, quad bike. Car. What about the bike that Topeng Monyet used to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Topeng Monyet. Oh, yeah. the, big, the big wheels and the small wheels. No, no, mm -hmm. that's just one wheel bike. A uh, one wheel. Yeah, just one wheel. Oh, I I don't see that in English. <laughs> they don't have that. <laughs> yeah, you you can't see that. One wheel bike. That's how we call it from now on. One wheel bike. And one wheel bike. <laughs> okay, good. If anyone listened to this video, they would say, "Oh, that's one wheel bike." Yeah. I did that's found it. My truck okay. My truck mm -hmm. Okay. Now that is. Three cycle. Um, the question is, what is wrong with the three cycle? With the twist, the three cycle is missing. It's uh, it's it's the front cycle for that yes. one. The yes. front wheels. The front wheels. Some people call it cycle, like this one with the cycle, three cycle and three wheels. They don't call it three wheels though. They call it three cycle. Three cycle. Cycles mean like round things. And uh, number two, what will the man do about the two cycle? What will he tell his son? The man will steal the another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's a cracky joke. Well, you know, yeah. crack, cracky yes. joke. It's funny at all. Yeah, it's, it is funny, but for some people, it will be a little bit uh, rude it's to cringe. say. Yeah. It's cringy. <laughs> Number three, what will the newly newlyweds do with all their candlesticks? Uh, you know newlyweds? Yeah, baru. Yes, newlyweds, wedding newlywed. Do with all their candlesticks, candlesticks like this? Maybe they return it. Return it. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe they will be. They will expose it. Uh huh. You will, they will expose it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a possibility for that. But if I were them, I would collect all the candlesticks and put it in my garage. Well, that's just a waste of space. In the order to walk. <laughs> you know, in, in, in the US, they have the garage sale. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, I do hear that. 
garage oh. sale. Every I think it's every uh, spring season they have the garage sale when they sell their belongings in the garage that they do not use any longer, but the the items are still usable and useful for people. Yeah, like, like second yeah. stuff. Yeah, second stuff. Second stuff. Yeah. Uh, number four. What rights does the man with the lifetime warranty have? What can he do? This one, lifetime warranty have. What what can he do? Complain. Use this word. Use this word. We use one of these. Uh, make a refund. No, no, no. <laughs> replacement. Good. Requesting it's... for replacement. Make a refund. What else? He is looking for because quality of the product. Mm -hmm. Good, poor quality. Mm -hmm. And then? And complain about the dis dissatisfaction about mm -hmm. that. Yeah, good. Complain about his dissatisfaction of the poor quality of the product or the TV. Mm. Today, not been not many people buy TV, I guess, because they have their cell phone. I don't know, but for office, for home, they do still need TV. Number five, what is the dis dissatisfied cons customer at the customer service counter saying? What happened to her skirt? This one. What happened to her skirt? Missing part. Scratch. What? Maybe torn or. Torn, yes. Yeah, it got scratch. Mm -hmm. Scratch. Mm -hmm. What else? Actually, it has a poor quality and mm -hmm. missing parts. Lots of missing parts. Yes, missing part. Perhaps somewhere beneath this skirt. Maybe the zip or what? Mm -hmm. Good. That's good. What else? Or it's, can we say that the skirt is broken? Yeah, we can say. Yes. Just imagine. Yeah, if. If you say something is broken, it means that you cannot use it. Yeah. Uh, missing part means the same with incomplete. That's a missing part. Poor quality is work for all items. Good. Now that is returns and exchanges. We have school and community join the PTA. You know what does PTA stand for? A PTA stands for. PTA. Parent teaching. I don't know. No. PTA stands for personal teaching assistant. Okay. Mm. Yeah, personal teaching assistant. Oh, so, oh like one. a private teacher. Uh, some people, it's a personal teaching assistant. Some would say parent teacher association. Parent teacher association. It's, you have this at your school, right? When your parents and the teacher meet together, discussing about you. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, the parents ask the teacher, "How does my kid go at school? How does really? the studies be?" Oh, he's really bad. He's, hey. Oh, your child is so bad. He's so naughty. Yeah. He's all sitting <laughs> away. <laughs> what the he hell? He does dirty things. Yeah, and you wait outside. <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's your school memory, right? And he'll be kicked out. Does that still happen today? No, I think no. It's been a year since the school was abandoned. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a lockdown, and your parents cannot go anywhere, even just the school, face to face with your laptop. We have this. We have this vocabulary. <laughs> now this is. It's a very official word, if you can say. The first one is administration office. <laughs> you know it. You know it already. Administrative appointment, chaperone. <clears throat> Do you know what chaperone is? Uh, um... No, Sh chaperone. Let's see what what does this vocabulary has to say. Um, chaperone. Um, hold on. Chaperone. Oh, it's um. 
A person such as a matron who for propriety. Um, okay, chaperone. Chaperone means the same with an older person who is taking care of you and watch out for your behavior. That's chaperone. <coughs> not, not your parents. Detention. Detention is put under detention. Detention is related to criminal and Yes, your criminal record or your uh, uh, bad past behavior, and then the police officer contacts you that you need to put in detention. Disciplinary action. When you are being naughty, wild, and crazy, you are being in disciplinary action. Um, okay. Yeah, dress code. Dress code, you know, dress how you dress properly. If you're a teacher, you have your certain dress code. If you are Ustaz or Ustaza, you have your own dress code. That's the dress code. Number nine, okay, uh, Reski has mentioned about this one before extracurricular activity. Number 10, intramural sport, martial arts, meet, meeting, meeting time, uh, office staff, you know, what. Well, Parental enforcement, you know it already. Play chess, principal, probation, suspend, suspension. Is there any word that you don't know? Uh, intramural sport? What's that? Intramural, intramural sport is, um, I think it's related to a certain sport when you do it inside the building. Mm -hmm. The mural, let's say, um, oh, it's close. Okay, it's um, being or occurring within the limits usually of a community organization or institution. Yeah, it's a uh, intramural completed with only within the student body, for example, when you do sport only within your uh, Buhata students. Mm -hmm. For me, that's intramural sport. Or you do sport only for students in English department. You do soccer, oh. for example. You do badminton. You do volleyball. But the players are only students in English department of Buhanta University. Now, that is called intramural sport. The so. name of the sport is various it can be volleyball or even swimming or um, karate martial arts but the performers are only within the same circle same background one community okay yes it's one community things like that probation when you get punishment and probation just wait for a while things like that uh, suspension is suspended suspend suspension uh, it's being delayed um, okay, parent flown volunteers want to this school and community. I think you know already all about this one. Mm. Mm, yeah, mostly. Mostly because you already went to school, you know, all these things and uh, uh, detention, dis discipline, rest code. Yeah, it's, it's. And the next one, lifelong learning. We have here lifelong registration financial aid cashier oh wow this this is for, what is this it's mm, i think it's books right yeah bookstore something like that yeah algebra physics chemistry business english uh, state university state university oh, is, it's mm -hmm. yeah yeah it's you know state university means uh negri ptn um Public public university is the same the same with state university. Uh, Negeri Swasta uh, means private university. Mm -hmm. You know Harvard University. Yep. Yes, no. Harvard University is a private university. Oh. It's not state. Mm. In in the U.S., if you compare uh, public with a private university. Private university is a bit more expensive, but it has more um, 
more diverse activities mm -hmm. that's uh, private universities and because the students money go back to them through many ways through many activities um, sports facilities and yeah it's, but the public university usually is supported by the state money according to the funding um, the students did not pay expensive but usually it is supported by the state money so it goes different ways um, <clears throat> we have here admissions advice audit course credit course credit hours elective fee finance matriculated non-credit course non-matriculated payment procedure register registers office you need register means like the TU. Yeah. TU, Tata Usaha, TU, or B, 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 A, K, Academic Registration Form, Registration Process. And then we have school supplies, uh, support staff, textbook tuition. Is there any word that you don't know? Uh, Sorry, I need to drink for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mat uh, number nine. Matriculated. What's that? Uh, matriculated. Matriculated means when you register for a course and it is combined with the new system. This matriculated. It's like bridging. Matriculacy. Oh, okay. Like bridging uh, to the next level. It's matriculated. Non-credit course when you don't get any credits, but that is a course or a subject. It's not credit. For example, in in bachelor's degree, you need to finish for about a hundred and forty-four credits. That is couple of guys. If there is a course that you have taken and you are not counted, or the course doesn't give you any credits, it means that it is non-credit course. So make sure that you fulfill the requirements that you need to fulfill for 144 credits when you want to graduate. Okay. Mm, that's what you need to bear in mind. Mm, semester, I think you know all this. The last is this with you this time, right? Tuition. Yeah. Tuition means has Pepe. Okay. School supplies, payment, elective, elective means pilihan, fee, yeah, yeah, finance, kawangan, admission, uh, finance, kawangan, finance means uh, uh, penerimaan, admission, admit, advice, bimbingan, advice. So if you have a uh, pembimbing academic, it, it is called academic advisor. Kalau pemimpin skripsi, assist supervisor, research research advisor or research supervisor. Okay, now that is about lifelong learning. Um, we have 24 vocabularies that you need to know already. We need to move to the next one. Recreation, I think it's the last one. Yeah. Recreation, we have here. What is this? What? Recreation is this? Oh, concert. concert. Yeah. Yeah. Concert. It's concert. This one. Library. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this one. Movie. Museum. Museum. Oh. Museum. Yes. Oh. That's right. So I'm I'm happy to see the second picture that library is a place for recreation. Mm. Wow. Yeah. But for me. Don't don't imagine library like we have here. In library, if you go if you go to let's say a library in New York or library in um, in the big universities, you will you will find library that has a very tall cup cupboard, um, and then you find lots of different books in English, even in even in France, in Spanish. In Bahasa Indonesia, you can find books too, right there, and you can read it online, PDF, or you can bring it home. That's very interesting. And the library is open for 24 hours. 
some libraries, some libraries open for 24 hours, not all libraries. Um, then we have here, what is this? Theater. 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 This one? For yeah. Good. Yeah, it's a sport or city park. No, it's not sport. It's a softball. See? Mm. With this, with this nah, it's baseball. Baseball, softball or baseball. For most Americans, they enjoy baseball rather than soccer. Um, but in London or UK, they like, or Europe, they like soccer more than baseball. Um, okay, now we have here this word. Who wants to read this? Uh, I think Reski. Try, try Reski to read this. All of them there? Yeah, try. Huh? Art show, baseball diamond, baseball league, bros, cheer, community event, exhibit, exhibition, mm -hmm. uh, film, fins art, murky, mm -hmm. machine. Uh, motion picture, multiplex cinema, one line catalog, perform, performance, playing field, play field, field, playing field, popular, public library, mm -hmm. uh, rain or shine, root, mm -hmm. show, spectator. Okay. Any work that you might not know? Mm. Online catalog. Online catalog. Which one? Catalog. No. Which number? Uh, 15. 15. Okay. Online catalog. Online catalogs means when you browse items in your uh, shopping application, uh, okay. that's online catalog. Yeah. All the pictures, the price, and the review, that's online catalog. Mm, what, what else? Oh, it's like shopping cart on my Shopee. Yes, like in Shopee or even in your uh, Lazada, that's that's a online catalog. When you try to search for items, shoes, and you will find many different shoes. That's online catalog. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, but the different thing is that it is online. But if you want to say just catalog, it means it is printed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you go to Basco or Suzuya or Matari department store, you will find catalog before you enter the door, right? Mm -hmm. The food catalog or the price one, that's catalog. Um, then we have, uh, is there anything else? Uh, how about the level of Marty and Marty? Yes. Martini, Martini. What's the Martini. Yeah, yeah. Martini. Martini, Martini. 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 <laughs> Martini. I don't know, it's a friend. Well, actually, the word uh, number 11, they call it Marke. Uh, Marke. Yeah, Marke. Uh, try to listen to this one. Uh, okay, where is it? Mark. No, it's. I'm not looking for this. Okay. Marke. Um, no, no, not this one. Marquee. Try it. Do this one. Marquee. Can you read? Can you hear this? Yes. Marquee. 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 It yes. is uh, chiefly British, a large tent set up for an outdoor party, reception, or exhibition. Oh, uh, a large tent. Do you know tent? When oh, you yes. go for, for you for a camp, but this is bigger than uh, than the average tent. Have you the ever have you ever uh, gone to camp? No, nah, never. Yeah, yeah sleeping no, in a mountain. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I like the camping. island. Mm -hmm. I like camping. I like spending with friends. We build that fire at night and yeah. um, some singing with guitar and eating uh, popcorn, things like that. It's, I like the kind of um, moment. It's called Mark Marke. It's ukuran tendanya besar, it's big, it's a tent. More than five people can get inside. That's Marke. 
Have you ever seen that in Padang? Hmm, I don't know. Me too. I never see that in Padang yet. And the other one, number 12, is called Matinee. Matinee. Yeah. Matinee. <laughs> Matinee. <It's>... Matinee. <laughs> it's just funny how to read this. Matinee. Yeah. Sounds like Indian. Are you talking yeah. about Indian? It's not Indian at all. Matinee. Yes, brother. Uh, this is okay. This word matinee, matinee. Um, the, it's a musical or dramatic performance, or social or public event held in the daytime and especially the afternoon. Daytime, especially in the afternoon, with music, dramatic performance. That is matinee. Only in the afternoon, daytime or in the afternoon, not at night. Mm -hmm. This calls matinee. Mm. Oh, this is very. Oh, the the word. Um, uh, what did you say before that? Um, I think it's the word um, field. We have field. This one. Field. Uh, field. 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 Yeah, that's a playing field. And what else? What words that you did not know? Cheer, cheer is to cheer, cheer up, cheer up, cheerful. Baseball diamond. Baseball league. Nice. Oh wow, whose music is that? <laughs> oh rescue. <laughs> what the hell is that? What the hell is that man? <laughs> Oh, all right. I'm just checking this... my phone for a while. Okay. Sorry, okay. Sir. okay. All right. Uh, now we come to the end. Okay. Woo! Finally. So ah, we have uh, we have talked about many things in Unit Four, community and uh, I think it's uh, services, social. community and school, social services. Many different words that you can apply. Mm, so many. Now words. next next week. Have, today is our what meeting? 14? 14. Yeah, it's 14. 14. So we will work, welcome to 15th uh, tomorrow. So, which means that uh, we're going to talk about Unit 5 staying healthy. We will be talking about taking care of yourself, staying healthy outdoors, home remedies, medical care. Emergency care, pharmacy, poisons, and counseling. Mm -hmm. I like number 102. It's about counseling. When you, when you give support to someone in terms of a, a psychological needs, psycho psychological beings. In my YouTube channel, I discuss about abuse. You know abuse? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's abuse, how you uh, treat Heart. others, yeah, hardly, hard enough. Mm -hmm. We have psychological abuse, verbal abuse, and physical abuse. Counseling is, is good for people who receive psychological abuse, that kind of support. Meanwhile, medical care is for mm, anything related to medicines and uh, medical stuff. Pharmacy. Okay, we will be talking about this further in detail next week. So I'm going to send you the link to our attendance list. That's I'm going to stop sharing here. Now come to our attendance. Is that is that a cat or a kid? It's not a cat. cat. It's a cat. And it's, it's a son. He has a son. <laughs> it's my cat. No, I'm asking. An illegal, because... an illegal one. Okay. He has an illegal one, son. Because the sound Whatever. is almost the same. No, it's a cat. It's obviously a cat. Oh, it's a, a cat. Okay, it's a cat, right? Okay. Okay, I'm it's going like to send you. 
Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. I'm going to send you the link to our attendance. Here's the link. Uh, oh, is that your son, Reski? <laughs> that's a, no, that's a cat, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. That's all right. That's all right. That's you are learning. Sister, oh, you are learning to be a father one day. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had a uh, brother. Brother, is is it called last? Huh? Your nephew. Yeah, I'm the oh, you. Oh, you you are the youngest child in yeah, your family. Oh, okay, that's all right. At least you you learn how to be a father by keeping your sister's child. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, it's it's a woman will see that as a good potential. <laughs> No, no, I'm just, I'm just joking. Okay, so okay. here is the link to your attendance. Um, okay, sir. Okay, all right. Just fill it out. Some of your friends has just left. I don't know. It's, it's uh, nineteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going because to the connection. Could be there's possibility for that. Yeah, nowadays the connection are really bad. Since I eight three. Wow, you have three cats there, I did. Right. Uh, it's not all of them. I have 20 cats. You have 20? <laughs> yeah. wow. What? So you are... Just a small portion of them. <laughs> so you are the father of cats? Yes. <laughs> or the king of cats? Abu, uh, no, I am Abu Hurairah. Abu Hurairah. <laughs> yes. You love cats. Uh, you need to make sure that you have to put the poop away, okay? Yeah. I'm going to turn on the recording. Uh, all right, thank you for coming um, online, and I'll see you again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir.